I wouldn't do that if I were you, John. It'll do you no good. The mayor has policemen downstairs with instructions to remove all marks of identification you may have on your person. You'll be buried in Potter's Field and you will have accomplished nothing. I've taken care of that. I've already mailed a copy of this letter to Mr. Connell. John, why don't you forget this foolishness? Stop right where you are, Mr. Norton, if you don't want to go overboard with me. I'm glad you gentlemen are here. You killed the John Doe movement, all right. But you're going to see it born all over again. Now, take a good look, Mr. Norton. John! John! Oh, John, no, no, I won't let you unlock me, darling. Oh, please. Please don't give up. We'll start all over again. Just you and I. It isn't too late. The John Doe movement isn't dead yet. You see, John, it isn't dead or they wouldn't be here. It's alive in them. They catch it alive by being afraid of that's why they came up here. Oh, darling. <laughs> sure, it should have been killed. It was dishonest. But we can start clean now. Just you and I. It'll grow, John, and it'll grow big because it'll be honest this time. Oh, John, if it's worth dying for, it's worth living for. Oh, please, John. Oh, <laughs> oh please, please, God help me. John, John, look at me. You want to be honest, don't you? Well, you don't have to die to keep the John Doe ideal. I, someone already died for that one. The first John Doe. And he's kept that ideal alive for nearly 2,000 years. It was he who kept it alive in them. And he'll go on keeping it alive forever and always. For every John Doe movement these men kill, a new one will be born. That's why those bells are ringing, John. They're calling to us, not to give up, but to keep on fighting, to keep on pitching. Oh, don't you see, darling? This is no time to give up. You and I, John, we... Oh, no. No, John, if you die, I want to die, too. Oh, oh, I love you. I <laughs> John. Mr. Doe, you don't have to. We're with you, Mr. Doe. We just lost our heads and acted like a mob. What we Bert's trying to say is that we need you, Mr. Doe. There were a lot of us that didn't believe what that man said. We were going to start up our John Doe club again, whether we saw you or not, were we, Bert? And there were a lot of others that were going to do the same thing. Well, Mr. Sarpolis even got a letter from his cousin in Toledo. And I got it right here, Mr. Doe. Only, only it'd be a lot easier with you. Please. Please come with us, Mr. Doe. John. Mr. Doe. Here, we'll help you with it. She'll be all right. Mr. Doe, take her right down to the car. Right up. We've got a car right down. They are Norton, the people. Try and lick that.